Happy Sabbath, boys and girls. Happy Sabbath, parents. Okay. Uh, so before we uh, study our lesson today, I want us to start with a word of prayer. Jian, do you want to pray for us for the story? Okay. Thank you, Lord, for the story. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. Shine, shine, shine for Jesus every day. So today, uh, Teacher Gilbert is representing the daddies for Cradle Roll B. And uh, throughout the month of March, we have been studying about the law of God. We have been studying about which is fundamental belief number number 19. And last week, we learned about the law and obedience, and one of the examples we learned about was Joshua, uh, how Joshua was obedient to God. Today, uh, yeah. Today, we are going to learn about the law and the gospel. Say the law and the gospel. The law and the gospel. So, the gospel, a very big word, but very important, because it is because of this word, or the meaning of the gospel, that we are all seated here, and we have hope uh, that we'll go to heaven someday and live with God forever and ever. So, as they prepare to present the slides, uh, we'll start by uh, defining what uh, the law is, okay? So who can tell us what the law is? Okay. God's instructions to us. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, children, who has seen traffic lights? Who has seen traffic lights? You have seen traffic lights? What colors do you see on the traffic, traffic lights? You see green, and then you see red, and then there's one in between. But the important one is green. What does green mean? Green says go, and red says stop. So the law of God is like the traffic light. So it tells you do this, okay? Or it tells you not to do this. What will happen if the lights are showing red and you go on to cross the road? What will happen? You will be knocked by one of the cars or the big trucks and then you will die, okay? Yeah, so that is how, that is, the traffic light is like the law. It tells you what to do and what not to do. Now, what about the gospel? The gospel, on the other hand, is the plan that God has to save us, okay? Because we have been bad people right from our first parents. Remember our first parents? What were their names? Adam and Eve. They were given instructions. They were given a law. They were told not to do what? Not to eat a certain fruit. But what did they do? They ate that fruit. And God had said, if you eat that fruit, what would happen? You will die. But did they die? Why? Because God was very merciful to them. He was very merciful to them. He forgave them. And instead, he went and killed an animal. So an animal had to die, and blood had to be shed. And then he made clothes for them so that they can wear, okay? Because they realized they were naked, okay? So from that time, you see, God had a plan to help us because we are bad people. We want to do good, but because in us we are bad, we end up doing bad things. Okay, so the gospel is God's plan to help us uh, to rescue us 
when we have done bad things. And after the first parents, uh, God told his children, the children of Israel, when you do something wrong, what do you do so that you are forgiven? Okay, you repent, and then there's something they used to do. They have the sacrifice. So they used to go either kill an animal, a bull, or a lamb, and they sacrifice it. So, uh, the, so they, from the time of Adam until Jesus Christ came, they were sacrificing an animal. So an animal had to die, very unfortunate. Blood had to be spilled. Who wants to see an animal killed? No, it's very bad. The animal feels very bad. But that is how, that is a plan God put in place to help us, to help the children of Israel when they do something wrong. And then uh, finally, Jesus Christ died for us. Okay, if you can move to the next slide. Yeah. Finally, you know what? When Jesus came, he came and became a sacrifice for us. Because still, what the law required, you know, the law came with consequences. Consequences are like punishment. And the biggest of punishments is doing is what? Die. Okay? The biggest punishment is you die. Okay? So the law says, if you don't do this, then you will die. But when Jesus came, he came to help us so that the punishment is, is, is taken on our behalf. It's like when my son does wrong in class and they're supposed to be punished, but somebody says, no, or daddy or a teacher says, no, punish me instead so that he does not feel the pain. So that is what Jesus did. So Jesus took the punishment that we are supposed to get on our behalf. So he paid the price for us. And now, because of Jesus Christ and because he died, now we don't have to die. We just need to go to Jesus and say, Jesus, I'm sorry, I've done something wrong. Please, please forgive me. And Jesus will say, yes, my son, I have paid it all. I died for you. I've paid the punishment. You can go. So that is salvation for us. So and what's happening this weekend from yesterday until Monday? The Christian world is celebrating Easter. Easter is a time where Christians remember the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And because of that, we have the promise of living forever and ever. Amen. Thank you so much. And we all look forward to living with God forever and ever because he has paid the price for us. Okay, thank you so much. So can we have one of the parents praying for us? Let us pray. Thank you, Jesus, for, for offering yourself to die for, for our sake. Continue enabling us to come before you and to do according to your will so that in the second coming we can be among the number that will be welcomed to come and share with you the table. Be, be with us this Sabbath and forevermore. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. Amen.